Hi there, welcome to my shop, come on in. My name is Ted Clark, I'm owner and craftsman at Innovative Woodworking Co. I'd like to invite you into my shop and give you an idea of the process I go through when I create a piece of studio furniture. I've been operating Innovative Woodworking Company for about six years now. I build both limited production pieces and one-of-a-kind pieces for individual customers. Once a basic concept has been decided on, I end up here at the computer where I make a 3D rendering and working drawings for me to work off into the, in the shop. So this is a basic image, 3D image of a piece of furniture I'm working on right now. It's a jewelry cabinet on a stand. As you can see, the 3D design can give the customers a really good idea of what they're going to get. I can incorporate wood grains and colors that the customer is going to have in their exact piece. I also can change the view, like so and make myself really detailed working drawings with all kinds of different dimensions, detailed drawings. It really allows me to be a lot more organized once I get into the shop. So once I've printed off a set of working drawings, I come back into the shop and I head to the lumber rack and I start pulling out the appropriate boards and finding wood that really suits the project. So, the projects often start with a board like this, uh, either rough on both sides or just rough on the edges, but I like to start with as close to the raw material as possible. It gives me more options of what to do. Uh, it's just the way I prefer to work. So, I'll typically take a couple boards, however many I need for the first phase of the project and I spend a lot of time here figuring out exactly where in the board each piece should come from. Uh, as you can see over here, this is the project you saw on the computer um, partially completed. I spend a lot of time picking wood for the grain so that it really exploits the natural beauty of the wood itself makes really good use of the really unique pieces. These doors are a good example of that. Same as this pole on this door, I've chosen it for the real curl in this piece of maple. It makes it a pretty stunning uh, feature of this piece. So as you can see, I've already completed a lot of the work on the main body of this piece. I've hand coopered the doors, to this curve with hand planes that I've specially made to match that profile. Uh, I've bands on these edges out of thicker material to make this curve. Um, mounted the doors. This all has one coat of finish on it already. Um, and the stage I'm at now, I'm working on the drawers. Uh, so we'll go over there to the workbench and I'll show you that kind of that process too. So I utilize both power tools and hand tools when I create my studio furniture. Uh, the part I really love though is when I finally get to come to the bench, bring out my favorite hand tools and really do the detail work, the stuff that makes the piece into a real piece of art. Uh, so these are the drawers for that jewelry cabinet that we just showed you. Um, they're all hand dovetailed, they're made out of curly maple and black walnut. Uh, there'll be a series of four drawers that go into that cabinet. And earlier today I was just working on cleaning up the drawers using my hand plane. Um, it's a part of the work that I really, really enjoy and the part of the work that really sets studio furniture apart from the rest of the furniture you can buy in the big box stores. So if you like what you've seen here today, I'd love to hear from you. We could talk about making a project for you. We're located just outside of Edmonton. Um, 
If you're interested in having something built by Innovative Woodworking, feel free to check out my website. It's www.iwco.ca. On there you can check out my portfolio, you can get all my contact information, hear from you and you know we could build something amazing for you.